Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your inner chakras. Welcome, welcome. It is Tuesday. Yes. Is today Tuesday? Yeah, today's Tuesday. <laughs> I guess. All right, guys, let's get it. See what's going on. Don't forget to flip these energies. It may or may not resonate. If it doesn't resonate, it's probably a lesson kind of like, oh, you know, you can just kind of write it down. All right, guys, let's just see what's going on. What does spirit have for you today? Holy Spirit. We have take inspired action. Full moon in Virgo. You could be a Virgo. You could be dating a Virgo. You can be in Virgo's energy. However, take inspired action. Like, put some, be inspired about what you're doing, right? Let's just put some oomph into it like take inspired action don't wake up be like i don't really want to do it no be like yeah i can't wait i can't wait right inspire yourself up cheer yourself on right take inspired action full moon in virgo so be inspired be happy be upbeat be something wow and then attend to the details last quarter moon in virgo this must be for a virgo or you could be dating one but it says take inspired action and then attend to the details. So something's going on here. So just pay attention to what's going on, whether you are Virgo or you're dating a Virgo. If you're not, you still need to take inspired action just with Virgo's energy and then attend to the details. Oh my gosh, guys, I flipped this over. Y'all see me flip that over? I did this and I was about to be done with the deck. I kid you not. It says new moon in Virgo. Trust all will be well. That's interesting. Let's flip it here and just see what we get, right? Shall I take a pee? If this is Virgo, I'm done for the day. Okay. It's not Virgo. But it says push through any insecurities. Push through any insecurity. First quarter moon in Cancer, right? So take inspired action, guys. Whatever it is that you're doing, be, be excited about what you're doing. What you're getting into, attend to the details, pay attention to what's going on. Trust all will be well, like it's going to work out in your favor, things will be great. And then if you're having any insecurity, Spirit wants you to push through that as well. But be happy, right? Attend to the details, pay attention, be inspired. Holy Spirit, and just have trust. What's going on? Let's see. And then we have light. The fairy queen of light comes to shed love and light onto your current situation and to remind you that light can penetrate the darkness. Guys, this is a good thing. So if you're feeling insecure about anything in regards to if you're dating someone, push through your insecurities because there is light at the end of the tunnel and they're shedding love. The queen of light comes to shed love and light into your current situation. And that is to remind you that light can penetrate darkness. So if you've been through something with your person, the light is starting to shine. You can see it. If you just look down, you can see the light shining. So this is good. So far, so good. Trust everything will work out. Trust, you know. Okay, hold up. Let's put some tea leaf on here, guys. Holy Spirit, what's going on? We have claw. Be careful. Do not take risk, right? Don't put yourself out there. Don't don't take a risk that you know is 70-30 and you're on the 30 side, right? Don't take don't take risk if you don't have to. If it's a risk, don't do it. Uh, deep friendship with someone of the same sex. So, you could be talking to one of your friends. It's like y'all have a really close friendship. Maybe y'all having tea with one another. We have shark. Take care or there will be a loss of material wealth. So, watch your money. We have gavel. Involvement with the law. 
hell? What's going on? You going to court? So push through those insecurities, whatever that is, and then create birth or conception of a child or enterprise. Involvement with the law. You may end up in court. I don't know. There's a birth or concept of a child or enterprise. Don't take risk. Don't stir the pot if you don't have to. What's going on, spirit? All right. So it looks like someone is planning on leaving. It's a Knight of Cups in reverse. They're swimming away to calmer waters. Someone is taking their love away from someone else. It could be this Virgo here, I don't want to say it, but whoever's taking the inspired action could be ending something and swimming away to come with waters. Holy Spirit. You could be saving your money. You could be saving your money for a union. You could be saving your money for marriage. You could be saving your money for something, but you're saving your money it looks like you want this four of wands here. Trust all will be well in your connection. Somebody's heart is broken or will be broken. But I think you're over it. Like you just... Or either that or somebody broke your heart and you're just over it. So moving on, if you move on... You won't have any regrets. So maybe that's why you're going to take inspired action and attend to these details and trust everything is going to work out. It looks like something or someone broke your heart. You could be involved with the law some kind of a way. This was a missed opportunity or a lost opportunity. You tried to invest in this person. It didn't work. You feel like you chose wrong, like you had options, but you chose wrong and you got into a connection that ended up being a burden. It's like you move forward to a connection and it ended up being a burden. And now you're starting to follow your intuition. This person broke your heart, whoever it is. I think you really love this person with this eight of, eight of Cups. But the clarity that you got, whatever you found out about this person, you have no regrets walking away from this person. Like you're not going to regret walking away because of what they did to you. This person broke your heart, right? Holy Spirit, clarify this Three of Swords. Queen of Cups broke your heart. They changed on you. And you could be talking to a friend about it. Someone of the same sex, right? And push through any insecurities. Holy Spirit, clarify this Knight of Cups in reverse. Yeah, you're giving up on something. Maybe you feel like this connection was an illusion. And you're definitely taking inspired action to move forward. And you're dropping your burden to whoever this is. You have no regrets. You're moving on. Because there was injustice in this connection. But you may have delays or you may even have a fear change of walking away. The spirits that push through your insecurities there. You're definitely healing, but you don't have all your strength back, right? You don't have all your strength. Holy Spirit. This wasn't your emotional fulfillment. It didn't make you happy. But you do have the will of fortune. The odds are in your favor to go forward. Whoever you're leaving, they're not going to get this new beginning. Um, you're not going forward because you're still up in your head about what happened. Something happened. 
something happened, but I do think you're going to take inspired action. You're going to end up walking away. Holy Spirit, clarify this involvement with the law. Higher friend in reverse. This is the judgment here. You could be ending a connection in court, whatever. If you're in court, it has something to do with your past. Either that or you're going to go to court and you're going back to the past. You're going to someone from the past or you're thinking about someone from the past. But you may end up in court some type of a way. Spirit, clarify the Six of Cups. Knight of Swords in reverse. You could have went back to the past without thinking. You probably thought, oh, it's going to be better this time around. So you could have went back to somebody from the past. And when you got there, they broke your heart. And now you're moving on without any questions. Like, you, you just don't give a crap. Yeah, you're moving on with no regrets. Attend to the details. Take inspired action. Holy Spirit. Yeah, take inspired action. You're releasing yourself from the devilish energy. There was no victory there. It's the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody who could have been obsessed with money. So Empress in reverse. Woo, child. So whoever this is, you went back to the past. Possibly thinking it was going to be better. Thinking about all the good memories that you had in the past. But it didn't turn out that way. You went back to the past and got your heart broken. You may end up in court. Some of you, not all of you. But you may end up in court over the situation. With the higher friend in reverse. I don't know if you're getting a divorce or, you know, it could be different things. Holy Spirit, what is this crib here? Is this a business? A child or enterprise holy spirit clarify this crib deception there you could have found out somebody's pregnant Ooh, child yeah deceiving you somebody was giving a two of cups to somebody else maybe they had a baby on you Ooh, child maybe that's what the law is maybe you gotta go take a piss test or a swab or whatever they make you do i guess they swab your mouth be careful not to take risks, guys. Spirit, clarify this chart. Take care or there will be lots of material wealth. Magician in reverse. I think if you take this leap of faith, be careful what you're leaping into. Because you could lose money getting into that situation. So... Before you jump off that cliff, don't jump off the cliff. Just walk down to the bottom of the mountain. It may take you some while, but walk it, right? Don't jump it, because when you jump it, you're immediate into it, immediately into it. But if you walk down to the bottom of the mountain, it'll take it to give you some time. It'll allow you to think, right? Instead of jumping right into something. So be careful. Do not take risk. You already did one before by going back. Don't take a second risk. And take care because there will be a loss of material wealth. So don't jump into whatever you're trying to jump into. You walk your ass down that mountain. That'll give you time to think. It may take you a couple days, maybe even a week. Especially if it's Mount Everest. You may be there for a while. Even months. Right? But walk down. You're ready to take this leap of faith, but don't. Like, don't jump into it. Walk into a new connection, right? Walk into a new connection. Because you gave the past a chance, and the past screwed you over. They may even probably had a baby on you with that birth of a conception or something like that. They probably had a child on you because you ended up in court. I don't know. Get in where you fit in. Man or woman, right? Man or woman. But you're definitely walking away with no regrets. This person broke your heart. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Peace.